Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esculos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? to you, Snakesby! Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? What's he running to? Oh, and I'll kill you! We could work together on this! Senor Duncan Walpole, 
I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Sumas humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Uno do me just fine. My crew and I had merely anchored to water and resupply. You Stand still. Hold it! Stop them! God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of... Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Oh, oh, this, this is difficult. I should have taken the coat off. A modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. That's a top way of seeing it, mate. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true.
You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I.